what is going on you guys I hope we're all having an amazing day today we are back working on the rocket bunny kid and today's video is gonna be an interesting one um, I'm freaking really excited to get this video started because we're actually gonna get the front fender flares mounted onto the car but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna have them fully mounted and kind of what I mean by fully mounted is have every single uh, bolt point uh, put onto the car but I can assure you that the front fender flares are gonna be on the car but uh, that's kind of what I have planned for today's video guys um, and also you guys might notice the door is gone yes the door is gone in my opinion I found it the easiest to just remove the door and fit the fender flare like that because as you guys know when I fitted the front fender flare it stuck out about this much uh, past towards the door and the side skirt so the side skirt and the door was not making was not allowing it to sit perfectly flush with the body right here so now that I took the door off that should be a little bit um, easier when working on the rocket bunny kit but I have not removed the other door yet that's pretty much what I have planned for today's video guys we're gonna get the freaking fender flares mounted onto the car so let's get it this late at night, to the place of the animals go a baby I'm here and I'm watching you move there's just one thing you should know girl you are my fire So I got both doors taken off already, the side skirts are off as well, and I put the spacers on. So we're ready to start putting the fender flares on the car. Um, I have the fender flares on both sides. What I'm thinking of doing is just removing the tape, um, because the reason that I had the tape is because since this is my daily, I still wanted the car to look nice while I drove it, you know? I didn't want any scratches, I didn't want um, any dings or dents on the fenders. but. Uh, it's my daily and it's a project as well, so I, at this point I don't really care if there's scratches or anything. I'm still going to be repainting it and whatnot. That's kind of the reason as well that um, I haven't uh, removed the canards yet or the the, the lip. But um, now like now like I just want to just, just, I don't know, like it's not important for me. It's not important to me for this to look pretty, so... Um, that's what I'm I'm just gonna remove the tape so it, it like aligns a lot better on the fender So this side's on already and uh, since this was the first flare that I put on, um, I had adjustability on this flare so I could position it wherever I wanted to. Um, that oh, Well, of course it has to meet up with the tire, but I was able to position it where I wanted to. Now moving over to the other side, which I did, this one's going to be a little bit harder because I have to try and match this one to the other side and it's giving me a little bit of difficulties right now. Um, it's off a couple inches on this side and the reason for that is because I just measured um, I don't know if you guys saw on the time lapse but I measured how low it was on this side and how low it was on that side and this side sits a little bit lower than the other side maybe like half an inch maybe not not even maybe a quarter or something um, but I think that's what's kind of throwing me off a little bit on this flare um, so I think I'm gonna have to adjust the coilovers uh, so it, they're, it's like the same height because as you guys know I think it was in the beginning uh, when we started the rocket bunny we lowered the car so I think I kind of not uh, aligned it perfectly because it was already getting nighttime so I might have maybe um, 
miscalculated the adjustments on both sides um so i made this one a little bit lower i honestly think that it looks a lot meaner with the with the rocket bunny fender flares um because it looks a lot wider um this side already has i already has a clicko pins i don't know if i mentioned it already but i just put two clicko pins and it's not going anywhere it's not moving anywhere because it already has those two points drilled on so we're back working on the rocket bunny kit and uh i already did all the measurements behind camera um, because it took a while because I was going back and forth, back and forth. Um, so the way that I measured it was I just got a string on this side. Because this side was the one that we mocked up already. And I measured up from this hole, the fender flare, or the um, the actual fender I mean. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, the actual fender, this hole right here, I measured it up to here. This other hole right here, I measured it up to there. And then this body line right here, I measured it up to there. Um, so I took those measurements and I did the exact same thing on this other side. This hole right there. This other hole right there. And then the body line right there. Um, so the measurements are done. All that's left to do is just drill the holes. And put the clico pins on there. So we got the fender flare on there with the two clico pins so now both sides are on there and they look pretty good guys um so now what we have to do is remove the fender the actual fender well we got to remove the fender flares then remove the fender um and then put back the fender flare on there um because we're going to be cutting it along there um and the reason i don't cut it right here is because i don't know where i'm cutting it if i were just to cut it through here um if i were to take off the actual fender i'll be able to see it from the back exactly where i need to cut it i don't usually go out this late at night the place where the animals go But baby, I'm here and I'm watching you move There's just one thing you should know Girl, you are my fire close to the fender so that's pretty good there's i don't know if you guys are able to tell there's small little gap in there but we still haven't put the screw here as you guys can tell there's a little gap there once you put the screw it closes that up and then we still need to put another screw somewhere here which i haven't done yet um and that's gonna allow that to be pushed down right there so this one looks like it's pretty decent and pretty good except for down here if you guys are look there's still a little bit more space that can be filled up so this side is good now let's go check on the other side so this side as well it looks pretty darn good all i have to do is just push the Put the screw in here, pushes that down, and then put another screw right here somewhere, pushes that down. Um, but that, it honestly looks all pretty darn good. All that's left to do is like, there's some little chips that chipped off of the fender flare. So we gotta fill those in with a little bit of fiberglass and then a Bondo 
Uh, we still got to figure out this piece over here, but that's when we start figuring out this bottom piece. Um, so that's going to be together in another video. Also, there's other little chips over here. So they're just small little chips that you can easily fill in with Bondo. But everything else looks pretty, pretty smooth and good. So that's how it's going to look on the side, just like that. Let me show you guys a front view. POV right here, coming right at you. So it looks pretty good. Just I don't I took off the the wheel spacers already, so it's the the wheels are not pushed out as much. But I honestly think it looks pretty good. Um, everything looks like it's pretty pretty flush all up here and then down there as well. And then the the screw that goes in here lines up with the hole perfect. Uh, we might have to cut somewhere right here because when you put the side skirt, I think this piece right here covers this. So we might have to go all the way to this corner and cut there. But we'll figure that out later. Other than that, they are actually like mounted onto the car. With the Clico pins, of course, I still need to put the bolts on. But the, for the Clico pins, it's pretty good for now. Um, and like I said, the Clico pins don't have that much force uh, pushing the flare to the fender. So with the actual bolts on, it's going to push it a lot closer. So it's, it's going to be a uh, better fitment with that. So that's where I'm going to end today's video, guys. I'm going to hurry up and wrap up this video because it's starting to sprinkle. And it hasn't sprinkled the whole entire year. And now that I wash my car, it decides to sprinkle? Heck no. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys can go ahead and hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. It would truly help me out a lot. But also before I enter this video, I want to give a huge shout out to a good friend that I met over Instagram as well. And he's been a big part of this build throughout the time that I've been working on the Rocket Bunny kit. So I want to give a huge shout out to Christopher, also known on Instagram as TC Project. I'll put his Instagram right here as well as in the link in the description down below. But he's been a big help with the Rocket Bunny kit. I'm really grateful to have a friend like that. I've never actually met him in person, but honestly, you can tell when there's people out there that are very humbling, you know? And he's one of those persons, and I want to thank him so much. So if you guys want to go give him a follow on, on Instagram, he's doing a Rocket Bunny TC as well. His is uh, for a SEMA. So make sure you guys go give him some love on Instagram and go check out his build. It's going to be honestly super amazing. Even twice as better as mine so make sure you guys go follow him on instagram and go give your guys the support so i want to thank you guys all so much for watching peace out and don't forget guys embrace yourself